Back at home, a 12-hour multi-agency river exercise continues tonight as local first responders rehearse some life-saving measures. WMBD's Jack Bozica shows us how the training exercise creates cohesive response between departments to better the chances of survival for people at risk. It's really just a way for all of us to come together, uh, work together as, as uh, a team here, really work through bugs in case anything were to happen along the river. Local and state agencies, along with the Central Illinois Emergency Response Team and more, were training together for various life-saving exercises. First responders tested capabilities when it came to finding people or boats in the Illinois River, as well as trained for potential drug busts. It's good for the community. It shows the community that you know we can handle just about any type of situation, whether it's a simple a drowning or a, a boat assist, or it's a, a tactical situation with a meth lab set up somewhere along the Illinois River. We have the capability and we have the folks that can handle that situation. The commander for the special response team says they have all these agencies come in not only to learn from the exercise, but also to learn from each other. To be able to do something like this uh, is huge. The, the greatest asset that we have from our team is guys can take this training that we get today and take a lot of those things back to their department. While the officers got a crash course in diving missions plus aerial busts, they also had to learn how to deal with the extreme heat. These guys are wearing a lot of tactical gear. They're going to be humping almost a mile to get to their target. So we always make sure that we've got medics standing by in whatever jurisdiction. All the agencies try to get together at least once a year to prepare for real-world situations like this. Jack Bozikas, WMBD News.